Hello, this course is Websites and Apps, and I'm excited about this particular course. It has a lot of cool tools and apps that hopefully you can integrate with it in your classroom. The first thing I want to mention is Unit 1 and Unit 2 is some tutorials created by Leslie Fisher. And for those who might recognize that name, you could probably recognize her through Twitter if you're a Twitter user. But her name is Leslie Fisher. This is her Twitter handle, Leslie Fisher, right here. And you will find many great resources. She is a top woman in, in technology regarding Macs and websites or um, web tools and so on. And then also you can see she has a website with many additional resources as well. So please take some time to kind of look through her through Twitter and um, find out what you think of her. But she also has created in Unit 1 and Unit 2 some tutorials that you will find very useful. Unit 2 is more in the subject related augmented reality and believe it or not you have been exposed to augmented reality if those who use the Osmo this last year. That's an example of augmented reality. And you can see how cool and how powerful that is. It's the hands-on activity with the use of technology but not really on the device kind of thing is how I would describe it. But I challenge you to actually Google augmented reality. So take a minute, do some reading, get a better understanding and the direct definition of augmented reality except for my little blurbs there. So you will find a lot of tools. Also if you have an iPhone or an Android you can probably download if not all of these for free on your device and test them out and then obviously if you don't want them delete them they are free. So some of these coloring op opportunities or the alphabet flashcards you can actually don't even need to print them out you'll be able to to play with it even directly off your phone and get it off the screen. So feel free to kind of really play with some of this and and go from there. I think you'll be pretty surprised on some of the powerful tools that are offered through augmented reality and how you think your kids, especially your visual kids, will learn, visual learners. Unit 3 is a self-paced time to play. The biggest um, complaint I get all the time is I don't have time to play with technology. I have all these other tools, and I totally understand that. But this is an opportunity for you to play with those websites that you've been shared with or websites with great websites and so on. Um, such as the Library Association, the best um, 2014 website. Uh, you know, there's a two, uh, there's my presentation that we did last year regarding some collaboration, communication, and so on, which is part of the four C's. On um, the tech websites, um, also you might want to definitely check out Ginger's um, Google Doc that she created for um, high school PD that was used. It has a lot of great tools on here. And she's a great resource for our district. So definitely check out some of the websites that she has created. Most of these have been put on the Atlantic website tech office or tech website as well but it just has a lot of really cool tools on here. Um, Plickers, you're going to see that next year. I'm going to use that somehow in PD and I'm in the hopes of having some kind of Plickers printed out for each library so you can actually just check those out and go from there. If you're familiar with Pinterest, I'm sure you've heard of Tina's Pinterest board and our Iowa AA Pinterest board which has a lot of resources not just for tech but anything regarding that. Graphite is one that I use a lot. That is one that I kind of do some reviews on a website. If someone says, check this out, I will check it out and see what the other educators give it a review. These websites and cool tools um, I have added um, on here are some that I've learned through NIDA. And for those who don't know what NIDA is, it's a conference that is held in Nebraska uh, end of every April and also has a fall conference now too. But it is a very powerful conference where you just are overwhelmed by the time you leave that conference you have so many tools and I always refer back to the handouts because I will probably have five sessions I want to attend to and I know I can't attend all five at one time I will go back and look at their handouts in case I missed it so I'm asking you if you want to check out their handouts see what you find out at the end this is a two-hour session and I do ask that you do the completion the conclusion at the end which is a Google form once you complete the Google form which is your assessment you'll receive a certificate showing that you have completed this course this is your time to play. This is your time. If you're looking for something particular in your content area or, you know, obviously there's many resources here and I don't expect you to know all of them and maybe you're an elementary teacher and you want to look at elementary apps or if you're looking for a math, you have the resources right here to search for those great apps that you've been looking for and with the reviews behind it, I'm giving you powerful tools that hopefully you will find something that you can integrate in the classroom. So if you have any questions, obviously let the technology department know, and happy learning. Thank you.